Lots of very serious charges by desperate investors bringing court action against the Broward Gold and Silver Cellar. Tonight, the International Gold Bullion Exchange temporarily shut down. A court-appointed receiver, the Fort Lauderdale attorney Bill Leonard, taking over if the firm hasn't filed for bankruptcy by noon tomorrow. That court action came at the request of Attorney General Jim Smith. We're told that lawyers for the company are preparing bankruptcy papers tonight. And while all this was going down, lots of commotion at the Fort Lauderdale firm's headquarters today. Eyewitness News reporter Garrick Glazer was there tonight on the Night Beat. On the surface, it looked like any going home time at any office building. It wasn't. Reporters and camera people milled around. Many employees carried out boxes after cleaning out their desks. And one of the two top IGBE officials was holding tight. Everybody will get to go. Still, no official word to the public as to whether the firm would reopen for business. So we asked. Are you going back to work tomorrow? What do you think? None of your business. Take care of me. You going back to work tomorrow? None of your goddamn business. Other employees used stronger language and made obscene gestures at reporters. Some blamed the media for the firm's problems. By early evening, plainclothes officers had served the necessary papers, effectively closing down the operation. A short time later, we caught employees carrying out boxes of company files. We'll be in business. Attorney General Staffer Leonard Elias wasn't sure if that was legal. We get, a, get a license plate. Go ahead, Ben, get it. You have a pen? Order prohibits them from mutilating, tampering, or destroying any records. Building managers got upset when staffers apparently tried to move files from the 15th floor to an unoccupied floor above, tying up an elevator. Our people went up to investigate, saw that they were file cabinets being unloaded, and we suggested that they put them back in the elevator and take them down to their own floor. Later, more files were placed in these vans. Attorney Tom, too, one of several representing the firm, explained to Attorney General staffers the documents were merely being transported to high-capacity photocopying machines in time for Friday's court session. I wanted to come and let you know that I'll be, we'll be taking these down. I'll give you a dress of overgo and then this came down. And late today, this turned up shredded paper in a garbage container. We tried to take a picture of it. As we recorded this portion of our report, state's attorney officials stepped in and tried to salvage shredded documents before they were chewed up by a trash compactor inside this dumpster. Building personnel had turned on the compactor after reporters and investigators started looking at the shredded material. Later, an IGBE worker denied shredding anything. Did you shred any documents? No. Other company officials say the material shredded was not sensitive, merely names and addresses of prospective customers. Organized crime investigators not so sure they plan to take a closer look. Attorney 2 says the company will be in federal court Friday requesting protection from creditors under U.S. bankruptcy laws. In Fort Lauderdale, Garrett Glazer, Channel 10 Eyewitness News, on the Night Beat.